hey what is up everybody my name is rahul and in this video we'll be looking at a challenge called mailman for 100 for 433 points the challenge description says that who uses the post anymore mailman is here is where it's at now this was a challenge from the integrity capture the flag competition in the cloud category so this is where it gets really fascinating i wasn't able to solve this but i was waiting for the write-ups to come up now they are finally here i was able to have a look at it and this is my take on it and um, what my approach would be like after solving it so as you can see i my first thought was to uh, have a server side request for the attack in here and let's just see if that is possible so 0 0.0.1 now, as you can see, this mailman looks strikingly similar to postman. Now, what is postman? Postman is something like a tool where you can try uh, your, you can test out your APIs. And if you are a web developer or a penetration tester, then it would be a lot of help to you. Now, as you can see, it says uh, no file or directory. I'm sorry about that. I had to make an HTTP scheme. So HTTP and let's just see, as you can see, error occurred. Now, this is where the problem is. Now you cannot make an internal API call. So what if I were to make, I were to change the schema to file and read the files. So let's just go and let's just go to password. Now here you'll see that I'm able to perform internal calls, but how is this helpful? Maybe I could do this, but as you can see permission denied, I can't do this. So what is it? How can we solve this now? As you can see, if I go to the about mail uh, mailman section under the perform best performance, it says at mailman we guarantee one hundred percent uptime thanks to all our services running in Kubernetes. Now this is where this gets really exciting because I was meaning I have been meaning to learn about Kubernetes for quite a long time, and this is my first hint to you know dig deep into it. So let's just see what we can do about it. Now here I have opened it up its docs, and it says access API from pod. Now, what is an API and what you can do? Now, we know that we cannot have internal calls made from here. So what we have here is an API. So what will an API do? Supposedly, you are sitting in Africa, US and your clusters in the your, your Kubernetes cluster are sitting somewhere in Asia or remotely. Just to say, how will you access those? What can you do? You make an API call to that. But can you make an API call to every uh, cluster or that you own? No, you'll have you'll need to have an authorization token in that case so that authorization token tells us that okay this is a valid person and this person is identifiable and then he can make a valid call so this is where it gets really exciting so let's just uh, see how we can make a call to it now here you see that this is the internal api this is the server or the this is where we make an api request so this is the endpoint but as i just said we need to have an authorization token as you can see here but where will we, where will we get that token now this is the path so we can get the api token from this path so this is where the file schema comes into play and let's just send a request as you can see this is a directory so in this directory there are a couple of things one of them is token the other things are certificates now we are not looking into certificates as we only want a token as you can see, this is the token. Let's just copy it. But ha if you have been, uh, uh, you know, following uh, JWT tokens, you'll see that this is strikingly similar to J JSON web tokens. So let's just copy to J. I have opened up JWT.io. Let's just pay paste in the, what we have found. And as you can see, this is our uh, token. Now, as you can see, the name is mailman. And this is the UID that we have it for that and so this is the base uh, authorization or the bearer token and this confirms it so i have copied it again and how will we make an internal api request we will be making it through this endpoint but for that in order to make an internal api request you need to have a token now we have the token with us all we need to do is set up a header so we can do easily do that by going into header section let's add a u t h o r i z a t i o n bearer So now we have the token. Now only the only things left for us is to make a request. But is it? Let's just see. Now if I were to send a request, you will see that forbidden user, this user cannot get this path. So I can't get, have access to this path. Now what else? So clusters 
are divided or subdivided into something called namespaces so a namespace is where you can define your own things under which and then you can have access to it so maybe what i'm thinking is i'm I, I don't have access to the entire root directory but if i have access to a certain namespace then that would be really helpful so in order to access that what you will have to do is you will have to make a get request to this path which is the, that of the api server and slash api because this is an api and if you know or if you have been doing some, some docker in, uh, recently you'll see that api v1 is the default path and followed by namespace namespaces as you can see we have a bunch of namespaces available to us now let's just see if we can get our hands on something that interests us so let's just see i have solved this what you can try to do is you can try to copy the entire thing and you can just send it to json beautifier that would you know uh, help thing help you things uh, sort things out but what i'll be doing here is as you can see this is a namespace the metadata and the name is secret stuff so let's just see if we can access it so this is the namespace as you can see this is the namespace that we have got and in order to look for its configuration files because this is a big namespace you know um, what we we try to guess is that in order to have access to the secret values you'll need to have look into the secrets folder and if you see here this is it so towards the end if you look here and if i copy this out and if i open up my terminal and if i have to talk, copy this so this is where we get the flag i'm sure that many things might have gone over your head but i am trying to things and uh, learn about things and once i get it i'll do make videos proper videos on each and every topic about docker and kubernetes that will help you and me a lot so thank you guys this is it for the video